Hello, I'm Petty Officer James Harless with the 7th Coast Guard District. Boating safety is always important to the Coast Guard. Today we have Petty Officer Nick Amin on location at Coast Guard Station Miami Beach to show us how one little device can make a huge difference this boating season. Emergency position indicating radio beacon, also known as an EPIRB. This handy device is allowing search and rescue coordinators from the Coast Guard to take the search out of search and rescue. It's a very simple process. When a boater is in distress, they can activate their EPIRB, which transmits a signal to the satellite, which is then relayed to the Coast Guard. From there, we evaluate the signal and launch the appropriate asset. Although having an EPIRB can greatly increase your chances of survival in a distressed situation, failing to register your EPIRB and keep your information up to date can significantly increase Coast Guard response time. Absolutely. The Coast Guard cannot stress enough the importance of registering your EPIRB. Thank you, Petty Officer Bannon. Petty Officer Mean, I understand that you were actually able to witness an EPIRB demonstration today at the station. Absolutely, Petty Officer Harless. I spoke with the commanding officer of Station Miami Beach, Lieutenant John Corbett, and he ran us through the day's events. Today we're just going over a new piece of equipment, which is the, the DF uh, backpack. It's basically a portable way of finding a signal which is emitted either from a VHF radio or an EPIRB. The huge benefits of this is to be able to cut down on the time that we spend searching for either a vessel or a vessel that's equipped with, with the 406 EPIRB. Uh, it cuts down a lot of time that we're spending searching around areas with, uh, with our small boats and it just basically lets us find the person in distress a lot quicker. Additionally, we are told that these EPIRBs can be purchased online or at boating stores ranging from about $400 to $1,400. And the Coast Guard stresses that you cannot place a price tag on a human life. Reporting from Coast Guard Station, Miami Beach, Petty Officer Nick Amin, 7th Coast Guard District. Thank you, Petty Officer Amin. Also, the Coast Guard urges boaters to wear a life jacket, file a float plan, and have a working VHF radio on board their vessel. For the 7th Coast Guard District, I'm Petty Officer James Harless. For more information on boating safety, visit uscgboating.org.